Man, let's talk about this album, man. Y'all got the new album out? Oh, yeah. New, the, the, new, the new album? How many tracks is on there? It's seven what tracks. Like, what it was like? It, did e it, like 11 e or something? What was it? It's like seven. It's like an EP e we did. Yeah. I thought I, I thought it was like eleven tracks. What y'all got? You must have got an intro and outro on there or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got an intro and outro on there. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, y'all yeah. came in stomping. Y'all came. Yeah. That, that's something different. Was something different. Yeah. Who's yeah. saying? Uh, that's one of our homies. Uh, uh, if you're watching, I forgot your name, but um, that's one of our, <laughs> one of my guy homies. You no, know, and he was he brought him over one day, and so we just jumped on the record like we was already recording. And he was singing right. something. I'm like, man, this dude sound, you know, tight. So we was like, man, right. I don't jump on the record. You know what I mean? So we wrote the hook for him. Yeah. Sung it, and that was it. Yeah. 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 Right, I'm gonna be her accomplice. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I was shaking in the bed, nonsense. Man. <laughs> <laughs> now, now what now? Yeah, one thing about your guys' music is that if somebody's listening to it, it's like being taken on a ride like a roller coaster, you're going up and down, you're going mm -hmm. up and down, right? So you switch gears from songs like something good, I mean, uh, something uh, different, yeah. and lap dance, yeah. that song that you got twist on, to, yeah. El, El, to El Chapo. Uh -huh. yeah. And again, I'm right there in the car. Man, I know I'm about to make a life decision right now. Mm. And <laughs> if I'm riding and I'm listening, I'm like, I could get caught up. Mm -hmm. If I hear these, if I'm listening to these words, word for word, if I'm listening to the song word for word, mm -hmm. how do I not get caught up in the hype part of the song mm. and catch the message? Mm. Because the message is in the song. Right. <laughs> but so often you're gonna hear people say, Man, I, I did a drive out of your music, man. I, I robbed the bank to your music, man. I end up doing 30 years listening to your music. But y'all always got the message, the game, y'all always kicking game in the music. The game is in the music. But yeah. how do you get cats to focus on catching that game? Go ahead and be entertained, but also catch the game. Right. I think it's listening to the mu music. And, and, and for what it is, like, because sometimes you might listen to a record one time and, mm -hmm. and don't get the message, you know what I mean? But I think if you listen to it two, three times, really dissect it, then, like you said, you can hear the message in there. So then you're saying, oh, okay, um, I'm a, you know, I, sung, I sold drugs, but this was the repercussions behind that, you know right. what I mean? You know, so we're saying, look, either we have experienced it or either we know someone who has experienced it. But this is the repercussion of that. When you do this, expect this to come. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like listening to the music, I think, over and over again, so that you know you can get the message. Because if you listen to it one time, you might go all out. You know what I'm saying? So it's just right. like, yeah. And, right. and plus listening to plus when you rapping, you know, you could say a certain line, but if your your next line is a punch line and you and you punch that line right. You know, people right. set in on that, like, okay, let me, let me rewind that. You know what I'm saying? There's certain certain ways to have certain punchlines that people catch. And those punchlines is what catches the ear and they sit back and be like, let me rewind that again. You know what I'm saying? So you can get, you can catch a lot of game from that too. So let's go through the process of El Chapo. You know, El Chapo being the, the iconic drug dealer. <laughs> a lot of people look at this guy and they fear this, fear this guy. Uh, even though he's locked up right now, I heard that he still have a lot of power. Mm -hmm. It seemed like y'all took that power and transferred it into that song because I'm gonna tell you something, that part where you guys say, stay the fuck out of my mix, <laughs> say, man, I felt that, bro. Like, I yeah. felt like, I feel like El Chapo and, and, and Set Up Chop, Set Up Shop could have been like Bunny and Clyde, like, you know, like those songs right there could go back, back to back. You have to put something between those songs. It's a good thing y'all put something in between those songs and gave a person a break because, you know, who knows what would have happened trying to listen to those. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah. That set up shop reminds me of that song me and Pimp C did, uh, Rock for Rock. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It's got that same kind, of, it's got that same, it's that mentality. It's not the yeah. feel, but it's the mentality. Like, you want to sell a cool cup, you got to go through me. You know, like, you ain't setting up no shop around here without checking in. And that, that's beyond just the streets. That's any type of industry in life. Real talk. Like, if somebody tries to build a Walmart right now, somebody tries to compete with Walmart right now and set up shop in a city, and they had a store like the size of Walmart, and they was trying to compete with Walmart, they'd have a problem. Mm -hmm. They're not just gonna come into the city and set up shop when Walmart and came in here and laid the concrete, you know, right. came out, came out with the shovels, you know, dug up the dug up the uh, what do they call it? What do they call it when you when you uh, break ground? That's breaking ground. Break, 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 come in yeah. and break ground, break bread, and then you gonna come up in here and just set up shop? Right. Nah, little daddy, you gonna have some problems. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got everything rolling now. Here you come. Once it's once it's once it's, once it's turned up, here you come. You know you're yeah. trying you trying to lay your leg down. We didn't did all the groundwork. How do y'all feel that the people are responding to the new album? Oh man, they respond they just crazy. Yeah, they respond. Yeah, they respond yeah. uh, 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 more than expected because you know when you put the you putting the album out now, it's so quick that mm -hmm. two three months it's forgotten about. Right. You know and when you got those, uh, when you got those, the core fan base, mm -hmm. man, they just stick with it and roll out. You know, you know how it go, D. Right. You know what I'm saying? That core fan base, when they listening to you, they listening to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? But um, with this album, with this album, the past album, a lot of, a lot of, it's a lot of love and a lot of uh, uh, people saying, man, we needed this at this point in time. And and it's crazy because we did it independently on our own. Mm -hmm. So this our first one we did on our own. So. That's the that's the excitement within itself and people responding to it. So you know. what I like about it is that it's good, dog. Like yeah. it's it's still creative, it's still do or die, it's mm -hmm. got the growth, mm -hmm. the information is there, the game is there. You know, I like information, man. I like right. I like music with substance. You know, it's cool to dance and all that stuff every now and then, you know, and I I, you know, I, I cut the flow every now and then. You right, know? you did, you that, did. <laughs> that information, man, I love information, especially life-saving information. When you're talking about stuff that people are going through, uh, you know, that, I, I love that type of, uh, that type of music. And I see that you guys paid homage to God on uh, Flow of God. I was like, you know, who, where you get this from, like, you know, this 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 coming from God, boy. This ain't, this is ordained. Yeah, you know, he, yeah, you know yeah. this 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 pimp tongue is our ordained. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we in the image of God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So we in the, we doing we doing things as they as they said when Jesus mm -hmm. said, "I believe me, y'all will do greater things than me." Yeah, yeah. That's that's what, that's what the, that's what we doing right now. We doing greater things. Right. It used to be to a point where music, you had to go to city to city, city to city to city. Now you can push a button and everybody get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, what happened to Round Table Records? Um, actually, I started it and then I went on to put it to the side because I, I just felt like at the end of the day, um, do or die have a, a purpose. Right. Compared to just me having a purpose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about the artists that were signed? What happened with the artists? Um, they they went on and did what they had to do as far as for themselves, you know what I'm saying, as independent right. artists. Right, right. But right. well, we, well, we still help we still help out with with certain um, different artists when we can, you know. Like K got the round table, I got Poor House Entertainment, but you know, like the do or die thing is just that's the meat of everything. So we understand that. And we, and we know in order to help everybody else out. We have to strengthen the, you know, we have to um, stay, yeah, strengthen the brand. Yeah. Right. Have y'all ever considered a collab with Bone Thugs and Harmony? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah. why haven't the people received this yet? This such blessing? 
uh, I think we just all have to get on the same page because it's, it's, it's a lot of individuals, it's just not, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Two people coming up with a decision, there's a lot of individual in both us, I mean, in and out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I know those guys, man. You know, like, we can cut all that out, man. We can, like, you know, I make a couple calls. I mean, I call every last one of them individually. How about that, man? We can get this thing going. You know what? I'm right. talking about y'all doing a ball thug collab. We ain't done one yet. <laughs> That's right. Okay. <laughs> hey, 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 Willie. Let me say this too. Are very similar styles. Yeah. Yeah. B Lo was saying yesterday, he was like, yeah. man, while we at it, we need to begin the song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be dope, man. I think that'd be dope. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's let's get Brad all the way healthy again so we can start yeah. music again. Yeah, man. Yeah. That'd be crazy. I, I had talked to him when he was in the hospital. He was he he was actually just getting ready to get out. Right. Yeah, yeah. I had talked to him. He was like, man, yeah, I said, soon as everything clear, we're gonna fly down to check on you. Already. Right. 